All right, I thought I'd show you how to set up E6 Connect to match your screen size and your ball position in your sim. It's pretty easy. You only have to do it once. Go to admin, put in the pin that you entered originally when you unlocked your admin functions. Go to simulator. Go to projection dimensions. And as you can see here, it has where you put your screen width, height, and your ball to screen distance. And this is only important for perspective. Uh, you really see it around the green when you're putting and chipping. It will sort of simulate how far you're looking at the ball from where you're standing to the screen and adjust how far away the pin looks. It's pretty effective. Um, I find it most helpful when putting when you have this set correctly. But down below here, you, you see you have a T position, and the default is center, and I use it centered on my 14-foot wide screen, but a lot of you guys have narrower screens. So if you do have it off to the right or something, or the left, you can set it here. And as you can see, you can do feet and inches, and you just measure how off-center your ball position is. And I'm just going to set it to three feet off-center so that you can kind of see what it's going to look like on the range. So let's just... Uh, Open up a practice range here. We'll go to let's see if we can find a large target here. As you can see, the uh, range is now centered over to the right. I'm going to bring up my targets and try to find a green here that would work. There's a good one, 118. Let's shoot for that one. As you can see, it's lined up to the right, and you're actually going to see the ball flight start from the right. I'm, I'm hitting still in my center in the studio, but you would, of course, be hitting three foot off screen, if three feet off center if you uh, had configured it this way for your narrower screen. So let me see if I can hit that green. Not too bad for wearing slippers. So, that's how you do it. Pretty simple. Thanks for tuning in.